Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Supercars of London. Now today is going to be slightly different, it's not going to be a supercar and if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram then you'll um, have seen the car that I've been lent today which I'm really excited about driving but this video also is the perfect excuse and perfect opportunity for me to say this is why I need a second YouTube channel that doesn't have the Supercars of London name that is all about what I get up to because today Watford Audi have lent me the brand new Audi S3 solution car which is a 297 brake horsepower twin turbo two liter pocket rocket and um, I've had the uh, joy of driving it down to Winchester today which I'm really excited about and check out the beautiful metallic blue paint the 19 inch wheels and uh, around the back it gets a lot more expressive expressive aggressive with the sun in my eyes um, it's obvious that this isn't a supercar, but I also have been toying with the idea of having a hot hatch that I can run alongside my main car that will be featured on the main Supercars of London YouTube channel. So I'd like to thank Watford Audi. Their Instagram page is in the description below and it appears now for you guys to check them out because they've got an awesome array of stock um, and they're only five minutes away from me. So they're also my local Audi dealership and I enjoy going down there and checking out what cars they've got. At the moment, they've got a really cool RS6. I'm waiting until they've got the RS7 because I absolutely love that. But for now, I have got the S3 Saloon, which rivals the new 2 Series from BMW. And uh, to me, I much prefer this and I can't wait to uh, drive it and show you guys uh, what is this car is all about. So inside and sat in the driver's seat, you've got a really quite a simple center console here, but it's all stitched with awesome leather. You've got the S3 logo here. You get the S-Tronic uh, gearbox down here. I don't know whether you can see that. You've got the whole center uh, command here. This thing pops up, which becomes sat nav radio and all that sort of stuff. And then from the driver's seat, the point of view you get, you get the flat bottom steering wheel, which is the same in my car, but this is obviously a lot more refreshed. It looks quite similar to what is in the current Audi R8. Not sure what they're going to do for the new one, which comes out of Geneva, and I'll talk about that soon. And then you've got the S-Tronic paddles here, the six-speed gearbox, which is um, pretty brutal, actually, and super quick. So this video is going to be my first impressions of what it's like to drive, um, talk to you a little bit about some of its performance stats, and um, yeah, this is uh, quite an exciting opportunity for me. So, um, and hopefully after this video, I'll be able to uh, get driving a few more bits and pieces and not just my R8. As much as I love driving the Audi R8, it's good to have a bit of diversity. So this car... So for the duration of this video, you're gonna be sat up there. Um, and the reason why it's sat up there is it will become apparent. I normally put you around um, here in my car, but as I squeeze the brake to start it up, and I'm gonna to have to turn the music off straight away, I think. Um, quick, quick, quick. There you go, you can see the sat nav. So, um, I mean, unless you wanna see the back of the sat nav all on, if I'm putting the camera there, you're sat over there. So, to start this car up, you have to put your foot on the brake. There's only two pedals in this car, which is the brake and the accelerator. Turn the key, and there we go. And um, at the moment, I'm in park, so you take the electro, Shh. Take the parking brake off, and then you, uh, if I grab you now, and you click back on the gear stick and drag it all the way forward to D and S, which is drive. Take your foot off the brake and you begin to lurch forward. <laughs> so, lurching forward and we are away. So it drives like an automatic. Um, and you know what? When you first drive off, this car is incredibly comfortable. It's quiet. And it's sort of really, really understated. It's only when you uh, put your foot down on the accelerator that you actually realize that this car is stupidly quick. 0 to 60 in just under five seconds, which is the same sort of t uh, 0 to 60 time as a Ferrari 360 from 1999. So this car has got the same sort of power as a Ferrari from 15 years ago. Put foot down. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's quick. A 
from the factory said that it was 420 brake, but like I said, experts say that it never actually is 420 when it leaves the factory. It's more around the 400 mark, and because mine's a little bit older, uh, well, from 2008, so it is a lot older than this car, it may have lost a few horses as well, which means that this car is probably on par with the acceleration of my Audi R8. The only fact is that you're sitting a lot higher it's a lot more comfortable and um, when you look around it, it just feels like a normal family car. You can get four, well, four people in the back. You can definitely get four people in the car, just not four people in the back unless it's a really tight squeeze and people are sitting on each other's laps. But it's quite a lot of space actually. I didn't look. I didn't look behind. I can only turn left here. That's unideal because I need to turn right. So we've got a really nice sunny day on a Tuesday. I'm driving this really really cool Audi S3 coupe that does stupid 0 to 60 times for this sort of car costs 35,000 pounds which to me doesn't seem like a lot of money when you've got the Ferrari sort of performance or the performance of an Audi R8 in this car and it's got a limiter of 155 miles an hour and I was only on the Audi website the other day looking at RS6s and you can actually pay to have the speed limit limiter moved up to 176 which is a pretty cool feature so i wonder what this car will do um, if you did de-restrict it not that i am uh, at all condemning the idea of de-restricting cars and trying to work out its top speed especially on public roads but i know that it's possible to do that so today I'm going to be driving down to Winchester where I went to university. I've got a few meetings down there and it gives a good opportunity to stretch this car's legs, find out what it's like on the motorway, find out what it's like off the motorway and just try and get an all-round good first impression of this car. And I'm going to be doing quite a lot more miles than I did in the Lamborghini and the Aston Martin that I drove uh, not so long ago. So I'm hoping that I can get a much more well-rounded um, impression on this car that I can then relay back to you about my first impressions of this car. I'm also vlogging the day, which I think has already gone out before on this video, so I don't know why I'm talking about that. So I'll shut up and put my foot down. The turbo boost dial that you get in the bottom right hand corner of the rev limit is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It looks really futuristic, it's got lots of metal finishes and things like that. Looks really cool. And as you put if you're cruising along and you put your foot down, you can just see the boost bar like going up and then it just kicks in and snaps your neck off, which is uh, something that you want in a family saloon car. I was just about to say hatchback, but the S3 hatchback is a hatchback. This is the S3 Saloon and it apparently weighs 40 kilograms heavier than the hatchback and what you get for 40 kilograms is essentially a boot but they've managed to engineer it so that it's only like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 seconds slower on 0 to 60 than the hatchback which is actually pretty damn good. So I'm heading back to uh, Watford now, back to Watford Audi where I'm going to be giving this car back and unfortunately um, as you'd have seen in my vlog which has appeared a couple of days before this I am running out of battery on my video camera and I'd like to uh, confirm in the advance that a new battery has been ordered for my video camera so I'm able to film a lot more but I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of first impressions first taste or first drive review of the Audi S3 Saloon it's an absolutely fantastic car I'm gonna cruise back now in complete comfort and I'm gonna cruise back now in complete comfort and um, just enjoy the rest of my time with this car. Hopefully there's gonna be a lot more um, exciting cars on the way and I'm gonna be giving the keys to a lot more cars. So there's gonna be a whole variety of cars coming to the Supercars London channel and also my own personal channel when that gets launched. And at the moment, I don't know, but please subscribe, please share if you like this. If you wanna, if one of your friends is thinking about getting this car, share it to them. Um, and I'll tell them myself, this is an awesome car, get it. So um, there you go. Thank you guys, and um, I look forward to seeing you very, very soon in a car that I have no idea what it's going to be yet. Probably my R8, but we'll have to wait and see. So uh, thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon.